God says God is our church. That's what we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 22. And God says Satan is our accuser. That's what we read in the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 10. And God says our intercessors those who intercede for us, those who pray for us, are our lawyers. And God says, we are the clients. God is the church. Satan is the accuser. People praying for you are those who are interceding for you are the lawyers. And you and I, we are the clients. And God suggests us to have some lawyers for us. That's what we read in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 30. God says that he is looking for a man who can stand in the gap and intercede. Because God is a just God. He is just. He is just. Devil Satan knows that very well. And Satan knows God's word very well. And the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12 verse 10, Satan is accusing us day and night, day and night. Think about that. 24-7, Satan is accusing us with God. God is just he goes to God saying that I made a mistake and you kicked me out of heaven and these people. He says your name. He says my name. He says he takes our names and he says that they are doing this, 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 this. Still you are blessing them. Still you are kind to them. Still you are forgiving them. Still you are merciful to them. Like this. Day and night, Satan is accusing us with God. God is a just God. And he is looking for someone to intercede as a lawyer. He is looking for someone to intercede, someone to pray for you and I. Because Satan is accusing us non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. Day and night, day and night, he is accusing us with God. And God is telling us we should have some lawyers because he is a judge. Devil is the accuser. Prayer warriors, they are the lawyers and we are the clients. We need someone to back us up. Abraham stood as a lawyer for a lot. That's what we see in the book of Genesis chapter 18 verses 23 to 33. In that Abraham pleads with God for Lot. For that reason, Lot was spared. In the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verses 9 through 14, Moses stood as the lawyer for Israelites. Moses pleaded with God. He stood in the gap for Israelites and God spared the Israelites. In the book of Acts, chapter 12, verses 1 through 17, we come across church was praying for Peter. The church stood as a lawyer for Peter. And Peter was spared. He was delivered. 
Whereas, in the same time, church lost Stephen. Church lost James. They had not lawyers. They had not prayer support. They had not intercessors. Do you see the difference? My brother, my sister, my friend, pray. Pray for your spouse. Pray for your children. Pray for your parents. Pray for your siblings. Pray for your friends. Pray for your co-believers. Pray for your boss. Pray for your fellow workers. Pray for the rulers, the authorities, government officials. We need all these people and God should protect them all. We need to pray for our rulers. We need to pray for the authorities, the people who are in power and authority. We need to pray for them, their well-being, their health, their wisdom, their knowledge. We need to pray for that. God should guide them in the right path. My brother, my sister, my friend, unless and until you pray, they are vulnerable. God makes it very clear. We all need someone to intercede, someone to back us up, someone to support us outside our lives. My brother, my sister, my friend, Pray for everyone and ask your friends, your family to pray for you as well. It is very important. It is very necessary. Without intercessors, God cannot help us. That's what we read in the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 31. In 30, you God is saying, I'm looking for a man to stand in the gap. In 31, he says that. Because I didn't find anyone, he had to pronounce judgment. The devil does the same thing. God is just. He is coming and telling God, he is doing this, 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 this. Are you still patient with him? He is telling like this. Unless and until you have an intercessor, you have a lawyer for you you will go helpless because God has no option but to pronounce judgment. Whereas if you have a lawyer for you, intercessor for you, God will say, He is praying. She is praying for you. Praying for him. Praying for her. The devil says that you are just God. And the lawyer says, Lord, you are merciful. You are graceful. You are patient. You are loving. You are forgiving. How can you do this to my child, my friend? How can you do this? Please give him some more time. Please give him some more strength. Please give him some more grace. They are the intercessors. And God tells the devil, I am merciful. I choose to be merciful. And the devil is out of the picture. You got it? That is what intercession does. My brother, my sister, my friend, take it seriously. Pray for others and ask, request others to pray for you. We need protection from the demonic forces, from the power of darkness. We need protection. Only God can give. And only when you ask for it, He will give you. See, God Himself when he said, let there be light, there was light. Until then, there was no light. Similarly, we need to pray, we need to ask God. Unless and until you open your mouth and say something, nothing will happen. You need to pray, you need to ask people to support you in prayer. My brother, my sister, my friend, God is our church. Satan is our accuser. Prayer warriors intercessors they are our lawyers we are the clients 
want to win your case increase the number of lawyers and increase the quality of lawyers to intercede for you my brother my sister my friend turn to god and be safe listen to god's voice and be safe my brother my sister my friend god loves you jesus loves you i love you until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah